ahead and, and begin. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Matt Manning, and I am the Director of Elementary Curriculum Instruction and English Learner Services for the Napa Valley Unified School District. Uh, and we are here this evening for our Renzulli Learning Parent Information Session. Um, and this meeting will be, we will have interpretation services available for this meeting. So we have uh, Julie here with us as our interpreter, as our interpreter, and I'm going to let her go ahead and explain how to access the interpreter services. Hello, good evening, everyone. Um, if you need interpretation service tonight, you can find, uh, not yet, but it will be activated very soon. And uh, you will find the um, uh, option for interpretation. Look for it at the bottom of your screen. It's like a glove icon and you just click there and you choose the language of your preference. Okay, y para español estamos ofreciendo esta reunión en español, así que para en unos segundos van a activar eh, la opción de interpretación, busque en la parte de abajo de su pantalla el icono de un globo o mapa mundi, hágale clic ahí y puede escoger el idioma de su preferencia, en este caso sería español. Gracias. Okay, thank you, Julie. James, you can go ahead and activate the interpretation. Okay, I just switched over, uh, switched uh, Julie over. Great, thank you very much. Again, welcome everyone. Um, if you're just joining us, I'm Matt Manning, the Director of Elementary Curriculum Instruction, English Learner Services here, excited to um, engage with all of you around our Renzulli Learning platform for our advanced learner students. And I want to start with a few introductions. Um, I have with us this evening, uh, Tony Kabusik, who is our representative from uh, Renzulli Learning joining us all the way from Florida, where it's almost, well, it's nine o'clock in the evening now. So welcome, Tony. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. And we also have uh, Breed Sarazan, on our, who, who many of you have interacted with, who is, works in our, in our instructional division, supporting our ALPS program. So welcome, Breed. Thank you for being with us. Hi, good evening, everybody. Okay, so um, the, the bulk of our evening tonight is, is really dedicated to hearing from uh, Tony. I know all of you, if you're on this call, you've received a, an email information from, um, from Breed about our upcoming Renzulli pilot that we're launching this spring. So I'm, I'm really very excited about being able to pilot this and offer this program um, for our students. We have our teachers um, secured and, and we've begun training with them. Tony's met with them already, um, as you're aware from the information that's been shared. Our teachers will be meeting with students on Monday afternoons from 3.30 to 4.30 virtually. Uh, and we will assign students to their specific teachers once we will assign students to their specific teachers once we have a sense of how many students we have from each school site, we'll begin to group students together. Um, so the registration is, is open and the registration for this program closes on Friday, um, giving everyone some time to hear from Tony, hear a little bit more about the program and make a decision about whether or not this is right. Um, this feels like a right fit for you and your child. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and let uh, Tony begin and present to us about the Renzulli Learning Program. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, everyone. It's so nice to be here. My name is Tony. I live in Tampa, Florida, and um, I'm the Director for Professional Development um, for Renzulli Learning. So um, your district has invested um, in your students in a absolutely amazing program. Um, it is a program that was developed by Dr. Joseph Renzulli and Dr. Sally Reese at the University of Connecticut. It's based on um, 50, over 55 years of research, which is pretty incredible in itself, right? Um, they are world renowned in differentiating the curriculum uh, for all learners, particularly high ability learners. And um, so I'm very anxious to share their lifelong work with you. Um, I'm going to begin at the student site so you can see what your students will be seeing. Um, and then I'm going to jump over and um, show you the parent site and how that, what that looks like for you. And as a parent, you can even take your own profile. And the profile is where the magic begins for Renzulli Learning. Whoops log me right out. Um, it's where the magic begins for Renzulli Learning. Um, your students will answer a series of questions on a survey 
um, and they're uh, focused on interest areas, what the student is interested in, ability questions, expression styles, how they like to express themselves. Do they like to use technology? Um, are they musically inclined? Um, are they athletic? Um, in learning style, how do they like to learn? Do they learn uh, best with groups of students or peer tutoring or discussion? Um, and these are the types of questions that the student will answer. And the student has to complete their profile on Renzulli Learning because um, everything in Renzulli Learning is centered around that profile. Um, this is the finished version. Um, this is a completed profile um, that, as you can see, my profile, I am interested in history and social studies. I'm interested in reading and technology. And I learned best if I could use technology. I love discussion and I enjoy learning games. This is particularly true with math. And I like to express myself by audiovisual and oral and technology. So this is such powerful information to have on any child. Um, it really, uh, Renzulli Learning looks at the strengths of the students and builds a curriculum and differentiates a curriculum just for them that matches this profile. The profile is available um, in these languages, the questions as well as the finished profile. So if I choose um, another language, um, you'll notice that the, um, that the profile changes to that language. So that is available um, as well. The student has the option to change the format of the questions before answering the questions um, in a language that um, if they want it um, other than English. <clears throat> Once that profile is complete, this is an area that students are encouraged to explore. All of these activities match my profile. So I have 260 virtual field trips. And again, you are looking right at a student site. This is exactly what your, your child will see once they have completed the profile. There are some absolutely incredible, engaging, um, wonderful activities. We have websites, um, we have other activities. Um, some of Dr. Joe Renzulli's books for creativity training in children um, are also um, included in Renzulli Learning. This is one of my favorite virtual field trips. Um, uh, the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. Um, I always, when I work with students that are studying about immigration, um, this is an area that um, I always go to in Renzulli Learning. So there's just all amazing. We have over 55,000 resources um, in Renzulli Learning. And uh, your, your child's activities will be based on their profiles. We have videos and uh, podcasts. We have competitions and um, contests that the students can enter. And these, think about that, they actually match um, the student's profile. Creativity training, critical thinking, um, all of these um, fabulous genres and then activities um, that match that. So here is NASA Space Center. We have a lot of wonderful sites from the Smithsonian, uh, San Diego Zoo, National, Geo uh, National Geographic, Discovery Channel. Um, so all of these are right at your students' fingertips um, and it's differentiated for them. And we find um, research shows um, that when students are engaged and they're reading and they're studying about something that they're really interested in, they, um, they dive deeper, they look more, they search more, um, they take a deeper dive. Um, also, they will even have activities um, across um, subject areas that match their profile. So a student has, let's say, um, like myself, I have to try very hard to be good in math. But yet, look at this, I have 1,287 activities in math that match my profile. 
So how does that happen when I, I don't even have math as an interest? Well, it looked at my profile. It knows that I like learning games. It knows that I like to read. It knows that I like history and social studies. So it looks at all of that um, information and then actually finds math sites um, for me. Here's, um, look at this, webinars uh, on subtracting fractions, um, basic terms and division. So all kinds of incredible information um, for your students. <laughs> and again, the beauty is, is it matches their profiles. It matches the answers that they gave on their profile. The other thing, a couple of other things I wanted to point out on the student site is the students even have a differentiated search engine. So let's say, for example, they're doing a project in school and they have to do a research paper, paper on the Civil War. Um, they can search that in their differentiated search engine and it will bring up activities on the Civil War that match their profiles. So not only are they gathering research and collecting data, but they're doing it um, in areas that they're interested in. So it looks at their interests, their learning styles and their expression styles. Notice I have a lot of books because one of my interests is, is reading. So I always tell kids, you know, make sure that you use that search engine. Um, it's just a very powerful tool and um, our websites are vetted and um, they're behind firewalls. So I tell kids, why would you want to, you know, search through Google um, when you can go into Renzuli Learning and find exactly what you're looking for aligned to your profiles. In addition, the students have a talent development portfolio and um, everything that they do in Renzuli Learning is saved in these little folders. So their notes, self-assessments, even the sites that they visit um, are remembered um, on in their electronic portfolio. They have an online journal where they can reflect um, on something that they're reading or maybe an assignment that the teacher gives them or maybe a brain teaser that they need to work through. And all of this information is viewable by you from the um, parent site and the teachers um, from the teacher site. Um, I also wanna point out that uh, my projects, um, this is an area that is one of my favorites. This is really the peer stay resistance of Dr. Joe Renzulli's work. Um, there are videos that the students can watch. Um, Los Angeles, LAUSD, um, they used Renzulli Learning. They started last March. And um, we found that many parents and students were doing projects together um, while, while the students um, were home. Uh, we have super starter projects where the students can even pick, uh, for example, helping in the community and they can view the activities um, that are aligned to that, to that grade, getting along with others. And there's videos all along the way that the students can watch that describes this area and every step along the way has a help video. So this is something that you could do together as a family or maybe a student um, has been asked at school to develop um, a project and they and it, you can help them and work through um, the process with them um, in this area. But my projects are meant to be long-term. Um, my grandkids and I, I have three grandchildren, they're kindergarten, second and third grade. And um, we do two projects a year. Um, we go through and we pick them out and then we work on them together. We've, um, we've created, we've made soap, bath bombs. We've uh, raised monarch butterflies and released them. And um, we did, we found one uh, that Houston children did. My, my grandkids watched the video and they decided 
um, that they wanted to do one of the science experiments using a pressure cooker. So can you imagine um, these little guys um, using uh, this program? They love Renzulli Learning. They're they're on it all the time when they when they can when they can be on it. So again, this is um, from the student's perspective. And I'm going to ask if there are any questions before we move on to the parent site. You can either um, unmute yourself and ask the question or type it in um, the chat if you have um, any, oh, there is no chat. But there is questions and There's, answers with the with the webinar um, with the webinar. Tony, the the attendees will have to raise their hands. Oh, okay. And we'll call on them. So we. I okay. See, um, es Espidey, do you want to go ahead and unmute and you can speak? Hey, hola, buenas tardes. Eh, mi pregunta es si nos van a dar como, bueno, yo entendí que tanto nosotros vamos a hacer como nuestro perfil como para ir monitoreando a nuestros hijos como ellos. ¿Nos van a dar como alguna otra capacitación o con esta nosotros tenemos que como explorar el, en cuanto nos envíen como un correo o cómo nos van a proporcionar el acceso a la página? Gracias. Okay, I can I can go ahead and answer that question. It's the, the question Tony was um, was around the profile and just some clarifying clarity around the how the profile will be used, whether parents will be navigating that and working on that with their students or not. Um, so the answer to that question is that the profile, the teachers will be guiding the students through through that initial process of of taking the profile. So that will be really teacher led and teacher directed. And then you'll have access to see what the profile results are for your child. And, and Tony can share with you what that will look like. Awesome. Okay. Any other questions? We do, we have another question from Simone O'Neill. Go ahead. Hi, great, thank you. Um, so you had mentioned that there will be teachers. Will um, Renzuli be helping with this as well? So for example, would Tony be part of this as well for the students or will these be teachers from Napa Valley Unified at their specific sites that are gonna be teaching the kids or how will that work? These will be Napa Valley Unified teachers. So we have uh, five teachers who have signed on to work with us on this pilot. So they will, we will do our best to assign students to their teacher if there happens to be a teacher from their school site. Um, but we'll have students grouped based on, um, we'll, we'll, we'll need to go ahead and put students together in, um, in groups of schools. So the students will be assigned to an NVUSD teacher and that they'll meet with that NVUSD teacher once a week um, to check in and, and get guidance from that uh, NVUSD teacher. Okay, great. And then just one other quick question for Tony. Tony, I heard you mention things like bath bombs and everything else like that. Yeah. So I, I assume that it sounds pretty broad. So things like fashion and oh, it'll be, yes. there'll be lots of things oh. in there that the kids can touch. Yes, yes. It's awesome too, because um, like for example, the Civil War, um, my granddaughter is interested in design, dressed, you know, and she got clothes from that time period, designing a website where she could design clothes um, during the Civil War period and study about the clothes that they did wear. So it really is an amazing product as far as um, taking at what the students have to do and putting a little bit of kick into it um, to, to, to relate to them in something that they're interested in. Great, thank you. It sounds You're very welcome. exciting. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I didn't have my video on. Um, we, our next question is from Ruby. Go ahead, Ruby Baines. Hi, um, I just wanted to know if, if say my son decided, if he wanted to go ahead and uh, continue with Renzuli, but later he decided, you know what, mom, it's just too much for me. I don't think I want to continue it. What are the options for after, if we were to sign up? Well, uh, we'd love for, we'd love for all of our students to see it through the end of this year. I mean, it's really just our start date will be Monday, March twenty second, and we'll go through through May. So it's really just a couple of months uh, because there's a week off for for spring break in there as well. So we'd love if the students could commit 
for this year, just so that we can have a really good sense of how is it working for our students. But there's, you know, there's no obligation. If it's not working, you can reach out to us and or to the to your students' teacher who they'll be assigned to um, for their their Renzuli program, and just let us know that you know there's some issues coming up. Got you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, that's all the questions we have for now, Tony. So you can go ahead and okay. Um, one thing I do want to show you before we move on is um, I'm going to minimize this is when you sign up um, for the parent site, it's gonna ask you for a code um, for your students. And I wanna show you how to find that code. Um, let me make sure I have it. Nope, I've got to log in. I am gonna log in as an actual student. I'll log in as my granddaughter. Oops. All right, so when you register the student, the first thing that you need to do is, again, um, this is the student site. Um, and you can see that I have sent Marley a couple of things here. I saw, um, I, she got interested in dinosaurs from Renzulli Learning. She had absolutely no um, interest in dinosaurs whatsoever. So, but she found a site that she absolutely loves. So every time I find a good dinosaur site, I send it to her. And this is what it looks like. She just clicks it on and then it opens up um, the activity. But one of the first things that you'll have to have to create your um, parent site is the student number. And up in the right hand corner, you will see your child's name and they have two options to either go to their account or to log out. And if you choose the option from the drop down menu, my account, you will see a highlighted number student code for your parents. And this is the number right here that you need. You can copy it and then paste it um, when you get um, to the teachers, to your um, parents' site. So I wanted to make sure um, that you saw that code. Um, and again, it's um, in their account by going to their name and choosing uh, the, from the drop down menu. And it actually says student co code for your parents. All right. All right. So, um, I know I'm just going to bring this up. These are the step-by-step -step, um, parent guide um, for creating your account and adding students. Um, and the beauty of it is, is that um, you'll be able to, uh, to view your students' work in the parent site, as well as take your own profile. So that might be something fun for you to do and what you would like to try. Once you create, I'm going to get into it a little bit different because I've got to enter it through um, through my um, whoops through my teacher site. All right, all right. So once you have registered, um, this is what your parent site will look like. Your name will be up here. Um, it'll, um, who are we? Um, this is the, this will give you a lot more detail about Dr. Joe Renzulli and Dr. Sally Reese. Um, why is it is important to supplement the regular curriculum with Renzulli learning? Um, I think you'll really enjoy these articles. Um, you, the, using Renzulli learning to differentiate the curriculum. It gives you a lot of ideas that you could even use um, for, um, for your students um, at home. And then providing every teacher with a dozen assistants. It'll give you some ideas on how um, your child's teacher will be using Renzulli learning. So just some great information um, on Dr. Joe Renzulli and Dr. Sally Reese. Um, you have, I'm gonna go back to the homepage. Um, my children, when you click, this is where you will see 
um, your student. And this is where you add your student and you paste or type in that student code that I showed you from your student site. Um, this is Marley's. Uh, I'm gonna, well, let's do Gavin. We haven't done Gavin yet. So I'm gonna click on Gavin. So I can see Gavin's username and password. I see his teachers. Um, I can view his profile. This is Gavin's profile, athletics, reading and technology, learning games, discussion, lecture, um, audio, visual, written and technology. So this is Gavin's um, profile. Let me go back to Gavin. Um, I can see, I can even see when he's logged in. I can view his enrichment activities and his favorites. Um, if he's done any work, uh, self-assessments, sites he's visited, notes, uploads, projects, assignments. His, I can even read his journal. How cool is that? Um, and I can read the comments from his teacher as well. So everything the student does in Renzulli Learning, um, you'll be able you'll be able to see. If you want to do your own profile, you can click my profile, and then you can take um, your own profile um, in here as well. My projects. If you decide that you would like to work on a project um, with your kids or as a family. Um, you can add it um, and you could work on it as a family. Um, my assignments, um, these are just assignments that, um, that the teacher has sent. And then we've just, this is relatively new. If your student belongs to a collaborative group um, and we, I'm actually working with a group of teachers and students from Palestine and Cincinnati on Saturday morning. We are so excited. These two schools are going, these kids are gonna collaborate with each other and we're going to decide, um, we're gonna give them a list of global issues and they are going to decide what project they wanna work on together. So um, if, you're, if that's something that maybe next year, once everybody's feet's a little wet, something that, um, that the district wants to do, we can certainly, we have school, students in Italy and Bombay and Germany, um, Palestine, uh, Iraq, and South Korea. We have students all over the globe. Joe and Sally travel all over the world to implementate their school-wide enrichment. Um, they're fun to follow on Twitter. Um, you just never know, Joe is um, he's 80 some years old, but you would think he was 30 the way he travels and helps teachers and students all over the world. So, um, so I'm gonna just click home again and I'm gonna go back to my children. And again, if you have more than one child, um, you can click on the child to see. And again, you would see their username and password, their teacher that are working with them assignments that the teacher, maybe they have started a project in school and you can actually view um, that project. So I can click that on and then I can see the student's um, project. So the parent site um, is a lot of fun. It's a great way to get involved, um, especially during the summer when the students are off and not in school. Um, my my grandkids, uh, we use Renzulli Learning after school and on the weekend and um, be, not during the actual school day. So um, we've done, like I said, we've done some amazing things and they've really um, taken off with it. And it's funny that even the one in kindergarten now is, um, I downloaded her a text to, um, a read aloud text to speech. Um, she's reading pretty good now, but I downloaded that because she wanted to be one of the big kids and she didn't want me to have to read everything to her. So again, this is the parent site. Um, I believe that you've gotten the, this uh, quick start on how to actually register um, as a parent. 
it's very easy uh, to do. And the next thing, once you've registered, just make sure um, that you get that code and that's how you um, place your own student into your parent site. Um, are there any questions on the to jump in there quickly, Tony? So we haven't sent that information out yet. We'll send that out. Oh, okay. As soon as we've completed our our uh, registration process and our again our our link for uh, families to to indicate their interest okay. that closes on Friday. So as soon as we have those those student names, we'll send that information out. And I have sent that to you, right, Matt? You yes. have that to send. Okay. We do. All right. Um, any questions on the parent site or anything about Renzulli or, or Dr. Joe Renzulli and Dr. Sally Reese's work? We do have a question from Alba uh, Buhlman. Go ahead. Hi. Uh, I came in late. Sorry. How do I send my kid name to be registered? There, there was a survey that went out to all the families. Bree, do you want to do you want to speak to that? Reed, do you want to speak to the? Yes, sorry. Um, I took a second to unmute myself. Um, we actually sent the original Parent Square announcement to all of our uh, fourth and fifth grade Alps families last week. And there was a reminder that went out yesterday. Um, I believe it was yesterday evening. And in that announcement, there's a link to the registration form. Okay, I, I will complete it then. And then I got it. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank and you. it's fourth and fifth grade only or high schoolers too? Uh, fourth and fifth grade only at this time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your question. And then Espidey again. Go ahead. Um, sí. Eh, cuando, una vez que eh, manden como los, uh, los maestros y los uh, nos manden como en qué grupo les tocó a nuestros hijos, ¿van a tener un horario específico o ellos van a entrar este, en qué tiempos? ¿O se les va a dar como días y horas específico a los cuales tienen que entrar al programa? Y aparte adicional, ellos pueden entrar como avanzar un poquito más cuando ellos quieran. O, o solamente en tiempos. Great, thank you for your question. Um, okay, so the question is, will students be going in at a specific time? Um, will there be a schedule or will they be able to go in whenever they would like to? Um, so the answer to that is there's two parts to that. So first, there, there is a schedule when students will meet with their teachers. They'll meet with their teachers on Mondays from 3.30 to 4.30 beginning March 22nd. So once your once your child is assigned a teacher, then we'll communicate that information out, um, how to how to access the teacher and what that will look like, um, and then beyond that Monday time one hour time frame, students should be in, and are encouraged to to be engaging with with Renzulli learning throughout the week. And, and Tony, you can speak more to what that might look like for students. Um, yes, thank you. Uh, it's it's really important that. A student that is high ability, a student is high ability all day, not just when they're meeting with their teachers um, for Renzulli learning. So it's a great idea for students that finish their work early um, in school to be able to go on to Renzulli learning and explore. Um, maybe the teacher has shared something with them or they wanna write in their journals or just explore their enrichment activities. Um, and I, and again, my own um, grandchildren, we work on it. We do it twice a week over the weekend and then Thursdays um, we, is our Renzulli Thursday. So this program is available to them 24 seven, wherever they have, whenever they have technology and access to internet, they have access to their account. So they can log in at home, they can log in at a library, um, they're not limited. It's not a program that is on the network just for when they're at school. They can use it um, all day or Thank at you. all. Thank you, Tony. And I don't, we, to not get too far into the details, but students will, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, students will be able to access the program through uh, Clever. So they'll, they'll have access through Clever, which makes it nice for that single sign on. Nice and easy. Yeah. So we have another question from Natalie. Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead. Natalie, can you unmute? I'm sorry about that. Whoops, it looks like Natalie's having some technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. so Natalie, you can try again, or you can also reach out to to me or to Breed, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. But we'll give you a moment to, there we go. Let's see if you can try again. So sorry about that. I had two screens going on and the massive echo. Um, I just had a question because the um, Parent Square message that included the survey to see if you were interested, when I tried to register there, I wasn't able to um, click the link. It didn't seem like it was an active um, usable link. And so I don't know if other people have been having the same problem or if it's just me. <laughs> is that the survey link to complete the survey? Yes, oh. yes. Yeah, hi, this is Breed. I'm gonna uh, jump in, I guess, and then I'll, I'll pass on to Matt. I, I know that it has been working because we've had um, upwards of 20 families who've already registered. So, um, you know, if you'd like to send me directly to my email, your students information, um, I would be happy to to work with you or if it's easier for you that I will call you tomorrow, I'd be happy to do that to get the information. It may be just a technical glitch in, you know, on your device. I, I'm sorry okay. about that, but I do know overall no, it is okay. working. Okay, great. Thank you. And would you prefer, Natalie, to just go ahead and email me um, with the information? Sure. I okay. think I, I may have, would, would you give me your email Absolutely. address? Absolutely, yes, I'm happy for you to have it. It's B, the first letter of breed. Sarazin is S-A-R-A-Z as in zebra, I-N, at nvusd.org. Thank you. Sure, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, and then we have another question, uh, Alba, go ahead. I was just going to say that on the Pine Square, you had to go on the top and there is a form on top and that there is no link. It's just a, it's a form and you click on that and then you go to the form. I just did it. Oh, great. So Thank for you. the lady that was asking before me, so it's on top and there's no link. It's a little title that says form, form on top of the Pine Square. Yeah. Great. Thank so you. One for form that. and then he goes there. <laughs> That's very helpful. Thank you. Thank uh, you, Alba. Kyrie. Hi there. Um, thanks for the information tonight. I was wondering what we can expect for the one hour per week when the students are with their Alps teacher. Yeah. So initially, it's it's really going to be about the profile and digging into the profiler and 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 taking that and understanding that and then. Um, it will be more guided work, not going into the projects yet. Tony's given us some guidance. You can talk more about what those initial um, sessions will look like, but it's really more of the teacher helping the student navigate and understand how to use the Renzulli system. So will that, that will be done by Zoom and several students in their group working with the teacher to understand how to use Renzulli or- Absolutely. Are they ever working on projects with their teacher in they that will. way? Yeah, they will absolutely be working on projects. Um, I, I see Tony's just pulled up a, um, a getting started for weeks one. Right. This is what the teachers will begin. Um, okay. It's important that the students know how to navigate, how to find websites, how to find activities, how to use a search engine. So this is how they'll get started. Um, there's even suggestions on eBooks if, if your child loves to read. They can search eBooks and they can journal in their journaling, um, in their journal for the response to reading. Um, and then um, as, um, as the student becomes more familiar with the system, then um, teachers will start creating lessons or assignments or even asking um, students to create projects. Um, we even talked about maybe one or two students working together collaboratively on a project together. So um, it will be structured um, for the student during their, during their time with the teacher. Okay, thank you so much. That's really helpful. Thank you. Thanks. 
Okay, I don't see any other hands raised. Um, so it looks like we've we've answered the questions that that uh, everyone has for this evening. So again, this this uh, is recorded. So we'll we'll make sure that this is available um, following following this uh, meeting. So if there's anything that you missed, you can go back and and uh, watch again. And I, I would just again like to really thank Tony for being here and, and walking us through the Renzulli system this evening. Thank you very much. And thank you to Breed for all your work in helping us get this launched. Yes, thank you, Breed. <laughs> and thank you uh, to all of you as parents for being here this evening. And I really, again, I'm looking forward to, to hearing from you, hearing your feedback um, as, we, as we launch this pilot and, and uh, hope for continued success with uh, Renzulli as we, as we get started here. So thank you all and have a wonderful evening. Thank you all very much for inviting me into your evening. And thank you to James West as well, who's been our, our technical support for this evening. Thanks, James. Uh, thank no problem at all. all. No problem. Thank you, everybody. Good night, everyone. Thank you.